Thanks for tuning in to this week's classic episode of Angler West TV. This week we're traveling down to Costa Rica to do some exotic fishing on the Pacific side. So we're talking marlin, dorado, tuna, that sort of thing. Fantastic location down in Costa Rica. Now I used to do quite a few trips down to Costa Rica, but that was before I discovered how good the fishing is in Panama. So if you're considering doing a trip to an exotic location like that, I suggest that you take a look at the whole world and see what's available. And I encourage you to contact me, for, ask my advice, you know, questions you might have, things like that. I might be able to help you book a trip. You know, it's always good to go through a booking agent. It doesn't cost you any more money. Your, your cost for your trip should never be any different whether you're booking straight through a lodge or an outfitter as it would if you're booking through a travel agent or a booking agent. So the booking agent is going to give you a, like an extra layer of information and protection, so to speak. They're going to be able to recommend particular boats, particular guys, particular times of year. Oftentimes, it would be dealing with the lodges and places that maybe they don't speak such great English. Well, you've got a booking agent here in the States that can help you understand for sure what's going on and really make sure that you have a good trip. So I definitely recommend you go through a booking agent. Now, there's lots of awesome places to fish. And you know, so think about what it is that you really like to do. Now, if you like to say bass fish here in the States or striped bass, that sort of thing, well then maybe peacock bass in Brazil or Colombia might be your thing. There's some awesome opportunities down there. Well, let's say you, you have a dream of catching giant fish. You, you want to catch the biggest fish you could possibly can on a fly rod. Well, maybe the east side of Costa Rica for those big giant tarpon. That could be a possibility. You want some trophy bass fishing? El Salto in, in Mexico. Beautiful place to go. Very safe. Always great fishing. One of my personal favorites was Guyana. Just an amazing place. The, the purest, cleanest, most untouched, perfect jungle you could ever possibly imagine and the fishing is just amazing. You imagine catching a giant arapaima in two, three feet of water on artificial lures. It's probably the only place in the world you can do that. Highly recommend Guyana. Now a little closer to home probably, Winter Harbor up in British Columbia. Yeah, maybe not an exotic trip. It's a whole lot like fishing down here in Oregon or Washington, but the fishing is amazing and you can drive there. So Winter Harbor should be on your bucket list. Now a little farther from home, maybe Argentina. Talk about an adventure. Go down to the south and you're fishing beautiful trout streams. Or maybe you want to go after what a lot of people call the ultimate freshwater fish, which would be the golden dorado, an amazing species of fish. Now if I had to recommend one place for someone to go to to get their feet wet, to get introduced to adventure travel and exotic fishing, I would say the East Cape of Baja. Easy, not so expensive, very safe, and the fishing can be absolutely amazing. So the East Cape, definitely on the top of my list of places to go. But for now, let's go on down to Costa Rica. Now this is a trip that I brought my daughter on. She was maybe five or six years old, and I'm sure glad I did. She was pretty young, but she still remembers quite a bit of that trip, and I think it made a real impression on her. Get your kids out there. Giving them that world experience will be invaluable to them in the future. Let's go fishing in Costa Rica. Anthropologists will tell you that one of the earliest distinctions between man and animals and a big reason for the success of the human species was man's desire to explore beyond his comfortable surroundings. While the search for food and wealth has certainly been a driving force of exploration, it's clear that there is something instinctive within humans, something that satisfies a certain urge that has led to the development of the cultures, technologies, and civilizations we have today. We're all born with an innate urge to challenge danger and to explore. The author John Steinbeck described it as an atavistic urge, or a need passed down through generations of humans through their collective consciousness to explore the unknown. And as Steinbeck put it, the satisfaction of that urge is called adventure. Some people devote their lives to the pursuit of adventure. And to many, that leads to fishing remote corners of the world. Roy Clark, who operates Clark's Outdoor Sporting Adventures, outfits fishing adventures worldwide. Well, good. Some of the better than others, boys. 
and especially covets the waters of Costa Rica that hold a wide variety of quality game fish Ooh. species. That's what makes their auto fun right there. Go. Oh, so much for that ordeal. If you're going to be adventurous in your fishing, you may as well be comfortable and well taken care of. The Zancudo Lodge sets on the remote southern Costa Rican Pacific coast. It's a beachfront paradise that accommodates families or groups in style and gives access to the famous fishing grounds between the Osa Peninsula and the Panamanian border. this is uh, they got these fish bags and they ice them down. It's beautiful. That fish will be so fresh tonight for dinner. Oh man, I can't wait. After over yeah. 30 years Supper. of traveling the world as an outfitter yeah, looking for the like best that. fishing locations, Roy has settled on a few favorites with Costa Rica being one of them. Another professional angler that's committed to Costa Rica is taking, Sloan Gurney, who's fishing on. today with his friend Ronnie. The important thing here, it's a lure, so you gotta keep it real tight. You're not gonna be deep set hook like that. Like a circle hook that's on a bait. Might just be wrapped around the bill for all we know. Here we go. We got some color. Sloan is a charter boat captain from Long Island, New York. There he goes. There he fishes go. stripers Shaking and his fish during the Classic Long Island summer. Trying to shake and it off. Winter's here at Zancudo. A pretty good arrangement if you can get it. All right. Let's get a good shot of the lure there. Oh, he's took it all. He took it all. Good job, man. There you go. Nice beauty. There you go. He's going in the water again. All right, let's let him go. Catch him. Catch him another day. Good job, Javier. All right. Good, good job, job all around, good fellas. Job. Good job. Thank you. This is a brand new lure we just put out today. It's an eat me flying fish color lure. Put out, cut off one of our other lures and use the hook rig on it. Right away, sail jumped right on. Lures will hook plenty of sails themselves, but they're also an important part of the bait and switch. A classic Costa Rican technique. Well, we just had a knockdown on the right long rigger. We got our live baits in, waiting for the fish to come back around. I'm using a spinning rod here with a live bait circle hook. So I wait for the fish to pick it up, four or five second count, and then I gotta close the bail. It's a manual bail you gotta close, so you gotta watch him get cut. He's on and he's mine! Spinning rod action. There it goes. It's a tight drag. Got about 12 pounds of drag on this. Just taking it easy. There he goes, nice sail. We got 50 pound P line braid on here. There's no stretch at all. Makes for nice hookups, but you gotta be quick on retrieving. Oh, he's taking one. Feel every piece of the fish, every part of them. Just taking line. Oh man. That's a lot of line. Good thing we got a lot of line. 300 yards on this trail. Ooh, jump, jump, look at him go, whoa! It's a big sail. It's all of a buck and a quarter. He's gonna go, he's gonna go. Look at him go! It's a big one. Big. He's taking line, still taking He's going deep, this fish, too. Wow, that drag is high. You want me to go up in the bow? Come 
Come on, baby. Come to Poppy. Come to Poppy. With a big sailfish, there might not be any better place than down here in Costa Rica. Big Pacific sails are all 100 pounds or better. Oh, he made a quick run at me. I had to pick up the slack quick. Ah, I missed the heartbeat there. Stay on, man. Stay on. Well, we know this line is on nice and tight on this reel, that's for sure. What's nice about these center consoles, if I didn't have this center console, I think we'd have lost this big sail because he took a lot of line. I got up on the bow. We kept the angle on him. He's going to jump. There you go. I still take your line. He's tired. I'm still taking line. Still weak right now. Nice thing about being sponsored here is Ankuda Lodge by P Line. We always got fresh line on the reels. So I got a lot of faith in our equipment. Here he comes up. He's gonna jump. There he is. Here we go, Ronnie. He's taking all day long with one fish. Welcome back to Zancudo. I'm Justin Wolf. Yeah, Costa Rica yeah. is known for its amazing bill fishing, but while you're here, there's plenty of other things to do and see. Hidden among that dense jungle is the Osa Wildlife Refuge that will give my daughter Emmeline a chance to experience for the first time some of the amazing wildlife of Costa Rica. But mostly they're strong this refuge they takes in hurt and displaced well, animals and attempts to rehabilitate them the with the goal of releasing them back into their native jungle. The tour, which can be arranged through the Zancudo Lodge, gives you a rare opportunity to interact and to learn about one of the most special places on Earth. We, we released the first one 14 years ago. The refuge cares for some animals whose injuries are so severe that they cannot be released into the wild, and those are the ones that we can visit, while the others are kept away from human interaction as much as possible so they don't become dependent or lose their fear of humans. And there's plenty of natural wildlife to see in this reserve as well. Everywhere you look, the trees are alive with wild animals. And if you're lucky, you'll make some not-so-wild friends. Also, the boat ride to and from the preserve gives you an opportunity to see more wildlife like bottlenose dolphins, and you might even come across a gigantic whale shark. The diversity of the area and the fantastic fishing brings recreational anglers to this area year after year, like John and Bonita Thompson in Florida, who go on several exotic big game fishing adventures each year. And this time, they've joined me on an Angler West TV hosted trip. And we're after the large, powerful Costa Rican sails, which congregate in big numbers here every winter. This one's a jumper. You gotta get her worn out so she won't, won't go night club in the night. <laughs> he don't want to give up, does he? He don't know he's with.
you never know when you might hook a gigantic blue marlin or run into a school of tuna or dorado, but right now, it's sailfish time. Okay. Three. Woohoo. Three. Good job. Woo. Good job. This is the lure the fish came in on. They brought it to the boat, and then we put the live bait out, and then they took the live bait, and that's what we brought it to the boat on. There you go, ladies. Do the work. I just want to catch them. <laughs> yeah. There you Woo! Go. yeah. Good job, Anita. catch sailfish, that might be tough to do because tuna and dorado are feeding on the same bait and they will often hit the same lures. Dinner. Big dorado like this are a real treat to fight and even a better treat on the plate. At the Zancudo Lodge, you always have the option to eat your catch fresh for dinner. Welcome back to Costa Rica. I'm Justin Wolf. We're fishing out of the Zancudo Lodge, which services some of the most fertile waters in the world. And you just never know what you're gonna see. Come on, baby, let's go. The Zancudo Lodge is a pristine property with beach access that has a view of the Osa Peninsula and all of the comforts of a high-end lodge. The staff watches out for your every need and includes daily laundry service. All of the rooms are air conditioned with refrigerators and TVs, and you will get a good night's sleep. Outside the rooms is a bird watcher's paradise with a daily parade of color and variety. But don't be late for the hors d'oeuvres at the bar. Lots of things are available, but most often there will be fresh sashimi or maybe ceviche from the day's catch. Oh, a little sashimi here. We just caught, we just caught this today. Oh, just a, little, just a little dip on the tail there is all you need. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh man, after a long it's day. All worth it. Excellent. It's a good day. It's a Todd, good day. Mike, yeah. and Aaron are yeah. another group Woo. that came on this Angler West TV hosted fishing trip to Zancudo. And for each of them, it's their first time to Costa Rica. So every experience is brand new. We've got a bunch of dolphins up here jumping. We're heading towards them right now. We've got uh, two or three boats out here. And, uh, Cheetos getting the baits on, getting ready to go. I'm driving. Uh, what's great about uh, Zancudo is you get to be part of the action, driving, baiting up stuff. And it's just a ball. It's all inclusive, man. Here we go. Yeah, I think I do too. Yeah, there he goes. Close, close. Close it? Yeah, close it. Close, close it. Close, close it real. Oh, there he goes. You got it, you got it. Yeah, you got yeah. him. Just, I got him. Just right. the oh, nice one. All right, so I got my second sailfish on. First one I caught in Zancudo two days ago. We got this one right behind the tuna school. He's coming up, coming up, coming up. There he is, right on the surface. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, scooter. Oh, spit it right out. That's okay, we got him pretty close to the boat. Spit it out at the last second, but pretty good job hooking it with the live bait. So, that was good. Yeah. So let's go find another one. Let's get another you, one, yeah. Good job, Tito. The lure, we came out and then we teased him out, switched it with the live bait, and he got it a little while and then get over. This is like a nice lure, this one. 
yeah, it was pretty cool. We were chasing tuna out there and uh, we caught a sailfish. And uh, right now we're re rigging, we're everything going here. Uh, so it's really fun, you know. We're doing everything on the boat here uh, as a team, and it's just awesome. Uh, driving the boat, putting the baits out, uh, you know, throwing the live bait out, hooking our own fish. Uh, Zach Hino has got it going on. It's it's amazing. I've never had this experience before with, uh, you know, just helping out and, you know, working as a team. Uh, Tito's really whipped us into shape. We've had a, we had one day, our first day, we were kind of rookies, but uh, today we're seasoned. We had a couple days in our belts, and uh, now we're just getting after it. Yeah, our song of the day yesterday was uh, Led Zeppelin, uh, Presence, side one. That we got two uh, sailfish on that, so we're going to go back to Led Zeppelin now. He's right here by the boat. There you just start to see him. Here we go. Right there. Nice there. Nice yellow fin. Got a nice tuna here. Oh yeah. Getting a little help from our friends out there at the dolphins. Porpoise. Let's pull up these tuna. Really nice to come down here and catch these tuna. You know, I catch stripers and largemouth bass, but these tuna, boy, they pull. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. about uh, San Kido is they have fresh sandwiches every day. They home bake their bread. Uh, this is uh, tuna that we caught yesterday. It's a little tuna fish sandwich, which is just awesome. Uh, the dinners are just incredible. Uh, we've had fish and meat uh, every night. And uh, I gotta say the service is incredible too. Ah, he's coming at me. Ready? Okay. Swivel. Alright. Woo! Alright. Good job, Tito. Nice. <laughs> Alright. All kinds of people come to Zancudo to fish and to experience this unspoiled region of Costa Rica. The lodge is bordered by the beach on one side and by the mangrove lined Sabalo River on the other. Kayaks are available, which gives you an opportunity to explore on your own. A trip to Zancudo starts by flying into the capital city of San Jose, where you can feed the pigeons and maybe get your face painted. There's tons of shopping, and there's always something going on in San Jose. Or you can have the Zancudo Lodge arrange a trip to the countryside, where there are many tours available, which makes for time well spent in the mountain region of Costa Rica. I know that some people think that it's dangerous or difficult to get here. But that's not really the case. After arriving at the San Jose airport, you'll be picked up and taken directly to one of several nice four-star motels. After a night in San Jose, you'll be picked up for your 45-minute flight over the beautiful Costa Rican mountains to the small town of Golfito on the shores of the Golfo Dulce. There are several flights in and out of here daily, so scheduling isn't a problem. Now you'll be picked up and taken by boat up the Sabalo River to the Zancudo Lodge where everything is inclusive. Yeah. Yeah, I saw A trip I to Zancudo that. will satisfy your urge for adventure. Oh yeah! I got Whether you're a first timer or have years of experience. The important thing is to remember that it's all about having fun and enjoying life. Something that the Costa Ricans figured out long ago. Hey, thanks for watching today's episode. You know, without the support of the sponsors, the show would not be possible. So please thank them when you can. Now get out there and do some great fishing.